What's good, y'all? This your boy DCPRT, and this is day four of the Small Account Challenge. I'm turning $533. That's what I'm starting off with, and I'm going to take it to wherever I want to take it to. Um, another great day. Today, I doubled my account once again. This is only the fourth day, and I'm almost at $9,000. That's crazy. Starting off with $533. Um... If you're late to this challenge, go to my first day and you, you can catch up from there. Um, yes, it's possible. If you got the right broker, um, the buying power, you can build it quickly like I'm doing it right now. If you're watching this video, man, I hope I hope uh, all of y'all bank today. Um, today was semi-boring, semi-exciting at, at the same time. Um, kind of a weird day. Um, but we got some plays, man. And I traded three stocks. Peck, P-E-C-K, V-S-R-T, and Watt, W-A-T-T. -T. That was the breadwinner. And, uh, yeah, finishing up $4,230. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm excited, man. My buying power moving up. And uh, let's get it. So, let's get into the trades. Like I said, White was the breadwinner. Um, I made $2,400. Well, $2,500 if you want to round it up. On White, that was the breadwinner. Uh, this is the chart of White. Um, this stock is known for, you know, spiking big and fading. And this is exactly what it did. Spiking big and fade. Um, but I wanted, I wanted to get the first move. And that's what I did. So... When you get experienced, because uh, sometimes I do go um, all in, not all in, but I do my max size sometimes on certain trades. But with a stock like what, you need to um, build your position up because this stock can go, it can just keep going. Um, so that's what I did. Um, as I, as y'all can see, um, I got short at 304, 1,000 shares, partial. Um, and this stock grinded a lot too. Um, a little wheat right here, so I got short at 304 and then 305. It kept spiking, so um, that's what I wanted. The higher the better. Um, got short again at 309, and then it just kept going, so I was like, good, I wanted it to keep going, um, so I can size into this thing. So, um, it spiked up some more. I got in with 2,000 shares at 351. Uh, down there getting the top, close to the top. But um, after that spike, it just faded. And once it faded, man, I covered exactly at the bottom of this stock. As y'all can see, this green arrow, I, I covered exactly at the bottom before it ripped back up. Um, that was a nice trade, $2,400, $2,490. And uh, yeah, nice trade on white. Next is VSRT. Um, VSRT is known for for gapping up and fading, also. So, um, that's what I was playing. Um, I was risking a high day. Uh, sometimes I let it you know go through it and then see if it's a, a fake out breakout because a lot of a lot of the time if it fakes out on a breakout it tends to crash so this is exactly what it did so i give it a chance to do that instead of just getting out um saying like a stop or something like that i like doing mental stops um and it worked out so um same thing with vsrt um starting short Got in at 321 and added some more at 320, 315. Then I ended up covering it at 330. I had 8,000 shares. Um, I took an L. I took an L on that uh, just to, you know, see where this thing is going. And I loaded back up on it, man. I went back with 8,000 shares total up here. And then I just I cover into this drop right here. Um at 309 and I made 
880 bucks. So I think this first loss, I only lost like, um, I think I lost like 200, $300. And then I went back with 8,000 shares way up here. Perfect entry. And then cover it into the drop right here, nailing this bottom right here um, before it bounced. And uh, yeah, 880 bucks, man. Loving that trade. Next trade is Pick. Now, Pick, this stock gave me a headache. It took all freaking day to do what it did. Um, and it got on my nerves um, because sometimes you can notice with stocks, it's manipulated. This stock was manipulated. Point blank, period. Um, I could tell by reading the tape. And it's holding its levels, but every time it spikes, it sells it sells off. So I was like, I was like, it was, it's somebody trying to push this thing up, but there's no buyers. There's nobody buying it um, to keep it going. And as y'all can see, every time it try to push up, crash, push up, crash, push up, crash, push up, crash. Um, but they trying to hold it up, push up. This was the move right here. This move right here was supposed to just keep kept going. Um, because this got shorts caught, but another fake out and, um, it just faded. So, um, my entries are not that good, but I, re I was real confident that this stock would fade off. And, um, I just had a set risk up here at, at these highs right here. So that was my plan. Even though I didn't have a perfect entry, um, I, pre I was pretty much playing the crack. Um, because I figured it was going to do this. It just couldn't hold up. Uh, I knew I knew it was going to break sometime, but it just took forever. So, um, and this is a thin stock. So, I was very careful by um, not going in too big with size. So, starting off at 450, I did 1,000 shares right here. I added another 1,000 shares at 462 right here. And then I ended up covering at 4.49 right here for a small gain. Um, then I got back in at 4.50, trying to play the crack. I thought this stock was over with after this fake out breakout right here. Uh, so I did a thousand shares, then added and added some more, thinking it was going to crack. It came down and it started freaking curling, and I was like, "Oh man, this, this don't look good." So it spiked, and. Um, I was tempted to cover because I couldn't let this thing just keep running on me. Um, but it quickly just crashed. And I was like, see, I knew it. There's no real buyers. Nobody's buying this stock. But somebody's trying to keep this thing up. Um, and it's thin. So it's easy to it's easy to manipulate. But anyways, I held it when it came down. I was like, okay. I don't have to worry about this thing um, running up no more because I think it's exhausted. And... Y'all see this action right here versus this action? The stock is exhausted. That's This is what you call it an exhaustion. It's tired. It's doing all this spiking and, and not going nowhere. And it said, fuck it, I'm tired. Let me fade down. <laughs> so I held it uh, through all this mess, man. I held it for like two, three hours, I think. I covered um, right here and made $1,200. Then I showed it again right here, trying to play the crack, but it ended up spiking and I ended up getting out and losing like 400 bucks. But it totaled up to 860 bucks profit for PEC, P E C K, and a uh, great day today. So uh, tomorrow my account should be at $8,500. And like I told y'all, every time I make $5,000, I'm going to withdraw $2,000 just to be safe, just to have that money in my bank account so if y'all got any questions about f1 trading and the with in the withdrawal process or how long it does it take for you to get your money i'm going to put in my request after this video and try to get a withdrawal so um i'll let y'all know about that and i will be uh, withdrawing two thousand dollars and just keeping that in my bank account um so once that money get taken out of my equity, um, my equity will not, you know, it won't look right because I'm taking money out of it. So what I'm going to do 
it just go on profitly or go on um what's another site that shows your trades in a, in a, in a scale or whatever um i forgot the other site name but i'm gonna choose one of those sites just to keep track of you know the small account challenge and show y'all the real profit uh from my 533 dollars and i will also have a spreadsheet also showing the profit and showing y'all how many how much profit i made the winners the losers all that so we're gonna keep it up and uh yeah man i'm kind of surprised myself that i'm growing it this fast um but the markets the market's been hot man um a lot of people been taking advantage of this you know about this coronavirus crap um you know messing up the economy um but it's hot for the stock market and um if anybody is affected from the coronavirus um my prayers go out to you and um if you're sick or whatever you got any family members sick um i hope y'all feel better and um just keep your head up and we'll we'll fight through this thing so uh with that being said that's it for this video i hope y'all learned some things um comment any questions uh like this video i will continue to do these uh, videos and uh, subscribe to my channel so i'm gone peace